I have can do much more, but man, I was totally exhausted. The, the year was really hard. Yeah. You know, also for the family and uh, for everybody around me, the checkers crying and you know people who were with me, they were really they were un, they were they, they totally get uh, psychical uh, have problems because it was too much for them. Okay, uh, now let, let's stick on this subject. What that 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 there's a clear impact there. So go, go deeper into that. What, what tell me how it impacts the people around you? This obsession. Yeah, you know the the people who go with me. It's like people come and go mm-hmm. because they cannot handle it. It is too much for them. I mean, are too motivated, mm-hmm. and then you know they 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 get destroyed. Killer killer podcast. Killer killer official dot com. Street culture TV. Instagram UK frontline. Beatbox created. Killer killer. And we need to talk about world music and street culture. Killer killer podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, Killer Keller Podcast, live and direct, central London, or as central as you need to be. Would you add them and Eve it? We are moving into the 500 mark of a podcast that really ever only started for the fun of it. And it's just getting realer, realer by the minute. If you want the realness, go to Television app, free download, iPhone, Android, for your sporting arts and more. Um, with its mini docs, big docs, uh, the notorious podcast that everyone loves to hate because we love it. We love it that way. Get yourselves ready for the upcoming Hoddle Wars. It's time to graph punks up and get up with some NFT gaming. Also, big shout out to Chief Rocker Gear from streets to stage. Chief Rocker is the streetwear of champions. <laughs> One gentleman that scours the earth's surface with the privilege of the freedom of taking out whole cars like it's no one's business. A European Don, a Netherlands King. A man that not only does the single whole cars, but the double whole cars. He'd do the whole train. He is not messing about. He is Mr. Whole Car. He is the mighty sayer in the building. How are you, brother? Good. Fine. It can be better, but everything is going well at the moment. So, uh, and I'm close to the 500 too, you know? 500, 500 whole cars? Yes. It's like this right. far, and I'm there. <laughs> Dude, you are so... <laughs> That's that's no mean feat. When did you ever start? Was that ever a number of accomplishment that you wanted to achieve? No, it's never that I. There's never that I want to do with that money Vukas. I started back in the eighties, eighty four, with painting mm. and the graffiti in the very early days, and mm. I was not so much in the trains as I'm now. You know, mm. and then uh, <clears throat> when I get grow up, you have more chances. Mm-hmm. You have a car, you have uh, more... Uh, Mobility. Put, yes, you know, and more money to uh, travel and everything. So then it go like that and go really uh, hard. And then I said to my friend, Amzo, because after a while that I didn't have campaign because I was somewhere that I not can get out. Mm-hmm. And uh, and I said for fun to uh, Amzo, when I was in Romania, I said, man, I do 250 Vukas and I stop. <laughs> and it was like a joke, you know? <laughs> so then I did the 250, and I said, okay, I stop. But I don't stop. I said, I do 250 more. And if I have 500, I'm going to be more slow down because uh, I'm not the youngest anymore. I said already that I painted from the eight, 1984, so mm-hmm. uh, I'm 40 years in this game now. And, uh, yeah, that you also feel in your bones and everything. And not, somehow, not... say somehow, I just don't believe you. <laughs> <laughs> Five hundred, now nah, let's make it a thousand, dude. <laughs> what's the yeah. what's the harm? <laughs> yeah, if, you know, it's like it destroys my social life. It destroys my 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 body. It destroys everything, yeah. Because everything, all the time, go in there. So I must also, you know, more 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 quiet. And looking, uh, maybe I'm going to do more panels, you know, maybe like a few hundred a year. And mm. uh, so long I can go to the yard and can paint, even when I go to where the wheelchair I go. But, <laughs> yeah, you know, it's like, the <clears throat> it's, you're never too old for that, you know. I paint with T-Kid. Big up T-Kid, put, big up my brother. 
Yeah, but you don't want to believe it. He's right here now. Stop it. No. Teach it. Yo. I can't cope. <laughs> Yo, killer. Yo, what up, T? <laughs> <laughs> my guy. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. Let homeboy shine, man. My man's a real hero right here, man. Fuck a thousand. He could do 10,000. This motherfucker's <laughs> crazy. That's what I was just saying to him, man. Come on. Yeah. yeah. Word. But so, yo, yo, do your thing, man. Do your thing. My so guy. What coincidence? But I can... The, this man is like a living legend. He did he did hookahs with me. And the guy is 62 years old. So there is no age to him. Exactly. End. Yes. Exactly. You're you're widely regarded as one of the special characters of the culture. Your personality's like bang, you know, you're you're that guy. And 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 I can't imagine like there must be so much rubbing off when, you know, when Saya turns around and he's like, you know, with his vivacious way, goes, let's go do a whole car. Let's go do a car. Like that is your social life, isn't it? You know, just going back to the social <laughs> aspect. That this is this is you. You're embodied in this, right? Yeah, maybe. You know, I make it my uh, my uh, my life, my uh, my mark into it. And some Italian guy gives uh, from uh, from uh, Milano Graffiti, uh, I believe. Mm -hmm. He gave me he gave me the name uh, um, uh, Mr. Wuka. <laughs> True. To me. He said to me, yo, Mr. Wuka, I said, man, that's a good name. I'm going to put it on the train. So I did. And till today, I use it because somebody must give you a name and they give me the name. And then I, I want to show what is the real Premier League. In my opinion, when I grow up with Subway Art and everything, it's like I open the book. And how, how it's a little bit ironic because the first piece that I buy it was from T-Kid. Wow. But what I like was the scene cars, the, the, the league cars. That was what, what, what says to me, hey, that is the graffiti, you know? And uh, the Premier League is doing a woo car. Yeah, that is a and real Premier League. It's a real Premier high, League. The highest level in my, in my opinion. So if I do it, I do it good. Everything I, what I do, I do super motivated. And uh, here I am. Here I'm sitting with, talking with you. Yeah, in the only podcast that counts. Um, Talk to me about the impact because you said, you know, age, age chases up on all of us respectfully. And, uh, you know, some of us, you know, never made it to the age we are. So we're very, we're very privileged and lucky, right? <coughs> um, to be able to, I mean, there's a, there's a level of tolerance, isn't there? To getting to an age that, that you're able to kill a whole car so quickly, yet the, depre the depreciation of, of your body, that's, that's, it's uh, bittersweet, isn't it? Yeah. So you see, I'm not the lightest. Eh? I'm not a man of queen. And uh, so that's more difficult than normal people. But I do hookahs. I can do hookahs in 20 minutes. And I can do hookahs in four hours. Depends the place. Depends uh, how many time we have. Mm -hmm. I work hackers, you know. So I, people say sometimes to me, why are you always so relaxed when you paint? Because I have my checkers. So mm -hmm. they are my eyes. And they yeah. are my 10 steps before, you know. I cannot run fast. And who is not fast must be smart, I think. Yo, see, so you, because, you know, there is this mythology about checkers. Like, you you roll with a number of checkers, right? Sometimes. Sometimes one, sometimes two, two and sometimes, in so very often times, uh, three. But that depends who go with me, you know. When I have uh, all the people with me, then the responsibility is for me. So then... I take more security for uh, to be safe, to be finished. Because I only one thing I don't want is to must leave the place without finish. Mm -hmm. So my um, my uh, percentage for uh, finish is really high. I have maybe twenty that I didn't can finish. How does that make you feel about those twenty? Does it does it infuriate you? Do you get angry? Yeah, I bet. Yeah, yeah. And sometimes I go to a place and if don't feel good or it don't don't work, I don't do it. Because if I must leave the yard with half work, I don't want to do it. What was so, the first what was your first experience of of whole car painting? Because um, like I say, you're you're robust. You 
And it doesn't matter what your size, stature or anything. It's like you're able to do it because of repetition. So where did that repetition begin? Well, the first ones I did, and I don't talk about it uh, in this case uh, for the 500, mm -hmm. is I did maybe 30, maybe 35 back in the days, in the 90s. Right. And I did uh, most uh, in Germany. And they were only silver, you know, but mm -hmm. with a lot of police rights that we have back in the days and going to jail for graffiti and everything, mm -hmm. then you lose a lot because when the police take it, you never get it back. Mm -hmm. So I always said, no photo, no VUCA. So I don't try to not talk about things that I cannot show, you know? Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. The thing what I talk about is what I can show and is there. Otherwise, it's just vicious man for a talk and I don't want to do that. That's right. <laughs> So it saw for me in like in 92, I believe, I did my first WUKA in uh, Germany. And uh, yeah, just for me, I told you, it always was the number one goal. But back in the days, the paint was not like now. Mm -hmm. Back in the days, uh, we have not uh, the, the, the travel that we have now. You know, I did uh, the interiors and everything, but now you must wreck cans in the neighborhood and do what you have. Mm -hmm. So now I have three spots. And if not well, works, then I go to the other one. I have more spots, but I have always three spots in in the neighbor. Mm -hmm. If the one not work, the other will work. So when we leave home, for for sure, ninety percent we we uh, do our job. And uh, yeah, so it started in the nineties, but after in two thousand sixteen or seventeen, mm -hmm. it, uh, I did my first hooker again in Bucharest. Mm. And then uh, I was with SAS 53 on um, daily panels. I did the book out and then it grows. This, the, the illness came back, you know, yeah. and <laughs> you see you see now, you know, it's like everything what I do, I do 100% motivated. So I can only focus on one thing, you know, and yeah. then it's that. And I do that. And that's that's why we now today here and yeah you called it an illness you called it, it, it an illness man. It, it ain't over yet you know totally not say that again it ain't over yet so it comes more only when i have reached the 500 i do maybe 10 12 maybe 20 a year not more but how can you how can you control that illness because you coined it as an illness like yeah and i get it because uh there, there is a there is a psychological effect to doing things to that higher limit. You know, there's endorphins that are, are reached that are far beyond like you know a cold bath or cocaine. You know, like these are these are crazy levels, and especially when you see it roll by in such a seismic fashion, like yeah. <laughs> like how are you ever going to control the illness? Not. You can't, can you? No, because you you can stop it till. I don't know, maybe I'll break my leg and I'm out of the, maybe then I go with a wheelchair. <coughs> but mm. it is like uh, so long my, everything, can, I can do it and not stuck in something, mm. then, then it will be happen. And it, it, it doesn't matter if the hookahs, panels or bombing or something, you know, it go, it, it, it goes about painting. Mm. And, uh, if I paint, I want to be on the highest level. And if not, I go one step down. And if that not work, one step more down. But stop, never. You so can't. You have not we don't want you to stop, neither. We don't want you to stop. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, Say, what's the mindset of, I mean, and I'm talking purely technically because some of those, some of those whole cars in Europe and let's remind ourselves, you are international. You go everywhere. You're super connected. Some of those trains, like particularly the Parisian ones, they're like double whole cars. They, like, what's the mindset? How do you approach those kind of sizes technically? I don't know. You go and you do it. And uh, I use my iPad for drawing, so I have to, the, the schedule. I like the double decks the most. People hate them because they are so big, but they are not much bigger than the regular train. They're only lower because electricity is like even higher than the regular trains, you know? Ah, okay. So, I, so there is a deception to that then. Yeah. And I do uh, only, I have almost done uh, 100 double daggers. I think nobody in the world has done before that. What? And, 
And I know he was busy with numbers, still the numbers are there. He's, the people said, how many double decks you did? I said, I don't know. Then I tried to count, you know, because I don't know everything on my head. Yeah. And uh, then I come now close by the 100. So then, okay, then I want to make the number 100. I never was busy with, 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 with the 500, but now I'm close by the 500. So, okay, then I'm done with 500, you know. So that's, uh, yeah. It's, I like the double decks because you have it's you know you must see it as like a big rolling canvas. Yeah, but to a lot of people, that double size, and I know you're saying about the, the height being kind of similar to but on mass, like that's not a 20 minute job, surely. It could be. I have I have I have double decks I didn't did in 30 minutes. Wow. Because with the ultra lights and the Mad Max, you can go you go fast, you know. Yeah, true. Okay, I feel that. But um, the detail that you put into your car- from characters to, to, to lettering to colors, like you know, that's not that's not normal behavior, my friend. <laughs> no, <laughs> okay. No, so so some are more work. It's like uh, I did four hours about it, yeah. four and a half hours. I think the longest time that we were in in, uh, in the yard was maybe five hours, six hours. I did in one day seven rupees. What? That was my record, and uh, for for the the the, the Wukas alone, I did ten. I did one man Wu trains like ten double deckers, uh, ten regular trains. Uh, so that's more easy because you use silver, and silver flowing more easy on the on the train. Mm. On new trains, they have the anti graffiti layer, so it flows more, so it go fast from the ground. I almost reach the top with the ultra, two ultra wires together. Yes. So, that's the secret, and I already know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you know. <laughs> Double up, baby. <laughs> yeah. So you know, it's you, you. Every time you, you, you put your limits more, 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 till you not can do anymore. The the most motivation when when I get into the game was they in the beginning they hate me because they cross they cross out my rule card. Hmm. Then I searched the guys two days and, uh, you know, like like an animal. Hmm. Uh, after I'm happy that we came together and uh, making a, a deal, you know, so that was over. Then other people uh, start copy and it uh, cost two guys more. So and then I said, okay, if they don't want me there, then I show what I am. So that, that year, 2020, uh, 2020, uh-huh. I make 123 whole cars in a year to show them that I'm there and not leave. 123 whole cars in a year? Yeah. And 104 panels or something. <laughs> so I, 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 I say, I genuinely have never had such, so many jaw-dropping moments. <laughs> like, <laughs> my jaw is just constantly dropping when you're throwing these numbers out. Like, I'm no mathematician, but if you're, if you're talking about 126 whole cars in a year, that's... Like two, 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 two a week, three a week. Yeah, sometimes you know, in the corona when the lockdown started, uh, everybody was afraid and stay home, and we go every day. And yeah. uh, the day, uh, the first twenty one days, I did twenty one workouts. And I told you, and that year was also that I said seven on uh, seven on one day. Mm. Then you have the ten double deckers. They go fast. Yeah, huh? this. When you're so motivated, when people are against you, the other way, the other people walk away, and mm. we go direct against it, you know, because we want to show them I'm here and I'm not going for nobody. And fucking right. I love yeah. a good battle. I love I, when if that, I, I the battle can, mentality is dope. I love the battle mentality. I had to do more because it was, I believe, uh, end of July. And I did my 102 Wuka, 103 Wuka. So then after uh, I did 20 more, but I you know and that's why I have so much people that come with me, like uh, when some workers will help me out, you know, sometimes. Yeah. And uh, yeah, they, they get confused. They said, yeah, when we go five years in a week, man, they, they had to get crazy because you don't sleep, you know, yeah. you're on... You you paint at night. You change the car the day, and then you have a few hours that you sleep, and that day in day out. And yeah, I understand, but I have my goal. Yeah, you know, to show them that I not go. So so mentally, it's sleep deprivation. It's um, the the um, the 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 
drive and the tenaciousness is too is, is too much for uh you know uh backseat drivers yes 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 for for the most people yes and then when you have a girlfriend they all say here you go again you know and so then i get rid of my girlfriend and say go because if you against you have you between me and graffiti then i always said when i meet a girl you know graffiti come in the first place and then come you and then they say why because graffiti was there before you yeah and if i stop with graffiti now and you go in two years I'm wasting two years of my life doing nothing. Oh man, true. So that's that's most people are like uh, like a hostage in a relation, and I don't can do that. That's why I have uh, so many relations in my life. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, but there's only one that really lasts the lifetime, right? Yeah, I had never a girl who was into the scene. Maybe was that a solution? But uh, yeah, maybe then I'm totally unstoppable then. <laughs> Uh, yeah, to to me, it sounds like you've gone past the point of no no return. There has always be a return, but if you want to return, uh, if you have your your goal and that's your life, don't 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 take it wrong. I do this. I have profit this forty years in my life. I was uh, inside, and uh, I have uh, bad times. You know, what was always there was graffiti. Your drawing, your your painting. Even if you cannot paint outside, you you, you scratch on on, on your uh, on your paper, mm-hmm. you know. <clears throat> so it had always keep keeping me through my life. Yeah. So for nothing and nobody, I throw it away. Only for my son. But my son paint now by himself. So it's like it's like crazy. <laughs> yeah, that must be crazy. Is yeah. there anything that you'd say to your, your son that not to do because of something that you've done that didn't work out for you? Or do you want him to experience everything? No, the first, the, the funny thing is I go paint with him in the beginning that he don't want to paint anymore because he said, Dad, I want to paint. I do paint. I said, no, I know all the problems with my mother, you know. Mm-hmm. If my mother cares about graffiti, she still cried. So I think we're going to take the, the, the exciting out of it to paint with him. Then he stopped. And uh, I lived back then in Germany. <clears throat> My uh, then he get on the wrong way. You know, he wanted to be a gangster, and I said, "No, you're not going to be a gangster." Wow. And I take him with me sometimes. Uh, yeah, he see everything. He meet all the guys. He's between all the guys, and he go drawing, drawing. Mm-hmm. And if you see him, he is a real master. He's twenty years, and he's a real master. He make old school pieces. Is insane. Wow. And I didn't realize, but if I must choose, he go paint or he go to be the, to hang out like a gangster. And as the, the, the choice for me easy, you know? Yeah, for sure. But I never push it. I never want it, you know? But yeah, at the end, is this better than to be when he is in jail or uh, maybe worse, you know? 100%. I mean, we say this all the time on the podcast, you know, that this is the, the lesser of many evils, you know? Yes. Yes, and you. When we grow up, we know. You know, I'm fifty years old now, and you know, I have seen everything in life. What's what, what you can imagine, and uh, you want only the best for your children. And I don't say graffiti is the best, but better than the choice that he had before. Mm. Yeah. Graffiti ain't the best, but it's better than the rest. Absolutely. Um, so eighty four was the beginning era. That was the introduction of hip hop into uh, Europe and UK. That's for sure. <laughs> Yeah. Um, I take it you were, I mean, first of all, big shout out to Arrow as well, um, Heavy Artillery, that's our peoples, I know. Um, yeah, yeah, he's a good friend of me, he's really king, Yeah, king, king on the train, king yep. on the wall, he make walls so fast, it's incredible and Crazy. huge, and he's a king on the on the canvas. Right? Thousand percent. Like it's yourself, working. like yourself, a king, like straight kings, we're only dealing with kings here on this yeah. episode, that's for sure. Um, T-Kid as well wow um so hip hop was the uh, introductory i would imagine you were you into all aspects of hip hop or just graffiti were you into other forms of music what 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 were the influences i started graffiti without in my city they painting old tags so on the electricity uh, uh, luggage i see tags 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 so i get a marker tag where we have one one girl the uh, cans we can buy we, I was tagging mm-hmm. then came <coughs> of course came super art 
we have in the in the town where I live was very early in 84, 85, I believe, I was in the uh, exhibition mm-hmm. and seeing uh, Crash, uh, Blade Quick. Blade Quick was so many times in my city, so you grow up with it, and then the, the tags get shaped. They get, I start really like with the tag, then mm-hmm. with the tag, with the outline, and mm-hmm. that's developing the, 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 the letters, how it works in the beginning. Mm-hmm. So, and that in the period goes really fast, you know. After Subway came out, we, we must wreck it because we have no no money for it. Then mm-hmm. the big example is for everybody, I think. Then came Star Wars, Wild yeah. Star, and uh, for me it was very important Beach Street, you know. Mm-hmm. So when I see that, then I want to do that too, and that too, and that's yeah, that's like they fill your mind, you know, like what they do now with propaganda on television it was like in a short time came Wild Star, Star Wars, Beach Street, Subway Art. So you have very, very, very a lot of things in a short time with graffiti, and that was like in my head. I don't let it get out anymore. That's crazy. So these were your influences of the time. So yeah, do do you do you um, still refer to those times as the as biblical in the sense that do other things influence you now or is this the where the source comes from is the place that you still get off on you still Absolutely. love that era Absolutely. yeah I, I, I like i like the old school i like the old school flavor from new york i like everything is from back in the days i like i have a collection of photos from new york metros very big i have uh, i know very lot of people from new york mm-hmm. And for me, it's like, that's, that is where I come from. You know, New York is like the baker mat of graffiti. Yeah. And uh, every style started there. You know, later when they come to Europe, we develop it. Yeah. You know, they started, we develop it to what it's today. And we never must forget the old school. No. Because without old school, it was never come to you. It was maybe it was it was dying. If Martha Cooper and Harry Chalfant not make the book, you know, it still right. was a little, little bit come here, you know, because Bando was uh, was traveling and you know they bring it to Europe a little bit. But the book is so important for everybody who started in that time. We'll and the kids, the kids from this time, they don't even know where it comes from. <laughs> they make a piece ten times. They make the same piece with different colors. It's like a sticker for me. It's no, no graffiti. graffiti How's that, how does that make you feel when you see that? Yeah, it's that. That is that's why uh, I like the unframed uh, event because they make the journey from uh, from uh, street art back to the roots where I come from. So the new kids they can look where I come from. You know, they know scheme now. They know yeah. They know all those old schoolers, but they don't know before. And it's so important. And that's when we go to school, you know, we learn about our history, all about our country. So every graffiti writer must know where graffiti comes from. 100%. Yes. And some, a lot of people don't know. And that's just a shame. You know, it's like how you can deny that or who can look, look to the other way or you can start without looking back. <clears throat> I, I don't know, man. In 2024, I just, uh, whenever you're watching this, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, um, don't try any of what we're talking about at home, neither, because, uh, yes, those are my clauses. It's a nice little story. He's, uh, it's his cops and robbers. Cowboys and Ninja, lovely story. Um, that being said, though, <laughs> um, with a world that has documentation at your fingertips, do we accept that it's good enough for pieces to be substandard knowing that the history can be read and watched with a click of a button i don't think there's any excuse no <laughs> i mean no. it is you know I, I i'll be honest the graffiti from today is like you have 20 tentacles like an octopus yeah and, that, and that's good because we if we don't develop it to Back in the days, we hated when we used tape. We hated when people used Chamblo. Mm-hmm. In the beginning, I was really against Banksy because uh, Banksy was uh, street art, and but street art has no history. Street That's art true, yeah. comes from graffiti, mm-hmm. and now it looks like graffiti comes from street art. That's not true, you know. Mm-hmm. And uh, <clears throat> but my my view changed in the days that I get older. older. 
because without street art, graffiti was is now more important than it was before. Hundred percent. And, and uh, so I, I I accept every part. I accept people who do stickers. I accept people who do shablons, who do stencils, because without that, it was not there. But we must go always back where I come from, and that's from New York. Back to the hardcore. How was, yeah. what was your what was your feeling um, of its time? Because you Europe, um, I mean, first of all, there was Delta. Then then came um, then came Dime and Lumit and uh, Toast, the Porno Kids, all those guys. You know, um, what was your feeling of that uh, almost like European um, influence that came through with the three D and, and such? That's very important because mm-hmm. you know I told you Del- Delta is real legend. Delta, mm-hmm. we will like, talk. Del- like like Amsterdam is like we had really the history with Paris. That's the history of Europe for graffiti and maybe the Baker map even for Europe graffiti. Mm-hmm. And then also London because you have the Brom Angels and everything. But I think Paris and Amsterdam were in that moment the most important for Europe. Mm-hmm. And Delta was, yeah, is 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 still there and is from was very important. When he made the the first uh, 3D Dame take it over and develop it and look at it in its own way. But it is very important that they all be there. Even they are far away, like like uh, Dame is like uh, far away from graffiti now, mm-hmm. but still is graffiti. Yeah. And he do huge murals. He is one who gets good paid for it. So there's future for people who do writing, you know, normally they have no chance in, 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 in the social life. But mm-hmm. Because of graffiti, they have a good paid job now. So everything what happened, it doesn't matter how it developed. It is important that that it is be there. Mm-hmm. Without that, I think it was maybe boring for some people. Yeah. And now it's like you know, it's it's we do tattoos, everything you know. I man, there's to you have to they look because we have more writers inside. We have aurus inside here. Mm-hmm. We have uh, Konka, who is just a uh, jail from uh, from uh, South Korea. We have here. Wow. Okay. So, so we have all uh, levels of graffiti here. We have the old school till the newest school. Uh, my son and Konka, you know, mm-hmm. is uh, in one house. And uh, crazy. Yeah, that's. Then you see the difference, but the end all bring us together. And. Yeah, this, for me, it's very, very, very important. Huh? Staya, I, you know, I'm, <laughs> I'm developing a real mental picture here about your lifestyle. And um, uh, you just mentioned there that the human traffic that goes on in your, <laughs> your apartment <laughs> and business. Um, because it is a business, right? Like the, you, have, you have immersed yourself in a lifestyle that I can't imagine you knowing what, is really going on in the outside world because this is good. People like to say graffiti is their life, but but graffiti, it, it's it, it's almost like it, it's your it's your theater. This you don't even to me it appears you don't even see anything but graffiti. <laughs> yes, it is my daily life. I think uh, for the most writers, is it you know graffiti is no it's no it's no hobby. Let me say that first. Yes. Everybody would say it's my hobby. Yeah, so they must go home because there's no real writer. Because it isn't a hobby. It is your mm-hmm. life. And for the other, it's more life than for the other. The others have a job next to it, and uh, real writers don't have a job next to it because they can't have a job next to it because they're all painting in the night. Yeah. You know? And I have many friends with me that that have also the real graffiti life. Like the, the conqueror is here. It's the man is <laughs> this new generation, but it's totally hard. He he he, he travel all over the world and only do graffiti. So mm-hmm. then crazy, crazy. So that's really, that's really graffiti. And then yeah, it's not only me. There are so many people who are into the game, even yeah. people that I don't know. And like Ticket, he's every day busy with with, with making art and yeah. still doing trains. You know, it's like and still does trains. I know it's amazing. He's a he's a legend, a cold, yeah. cold legend. Yes, yes. I mean, I think maybe the biggest legend ever. You know, mm-hmm. yeah. Because when you look back in the days to his styles on the trains, they were very far for us than 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 like other riders. The end to end have all story, and 
what he made till today is like he developed it and it's still the same that he do, but different. So graffiti life is like, I think, I don't want to say, say a perfect life, but how must I say it? I don't know. Like Oras here is here too, and he uh, he do tattoo line, make mm -hmm. the graffiti tattoos yeah, like this one, mm -hmm. and uh, so I think we all blessed. Who can say we have graffiti life? Arrow is like the same. He is the same, yeah. Yes. Do, do you feel that there's a league table to to that level of of um of life commitment? Like uh, I. I can think of a handful of people that have that, have it, have it. Um, uh, Pulse, ILC, he has that mentality. Uh, like T-Kid most certainly does. Yeah. Um, uh, yourself, Arrow. Um, do, do, but you can tell there's a league table here. Like you, it, 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 this is top tier shit. This is top tier. Go hard, go home. You know, die hard shit. Yes, I think we have luck. <laughs> And there's more names, eh? Like if you have Atom, Atom is a very good friend of me. Big up Atom all day. Man, he's so also so very important for the graffiti world, you know, mm -hmm. for, for not, not only for the brand, but for his, his knowledge and everything. Crazy. And, and still from back in the days, he's the same till now. And uh, you can put him in the same line as Arrow and everybody, you know? 100%. He, the, the guy is, is a real true king. Yeah. And a very good guy. And is also a performer. Right? Mm -hmm. And so some people are blessed with that life, like them, you know. And, um, yeah, I think you must have luck. And it, you cannot choose for it. It is coming to you or it is not coming to you. Mm. And, yeah, yes, yeah, I'm, I'm not really uh, good. A uh, good answer for it. <laughs> no, no. This is there's no answer. It's more. It's more a, a study and a yes. conversation because <clears throat> um, I think what we're talking about here is in inside energy, something that you can't, you know, you not everyone can have. It's the desire. But not you know? everybody can be a bank director. Not everybody can be the president of the country. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like yeah. every job has its thing and every life has its thing. Yeah. You know, you're not over. Not everybody can be the the biggest. Not everybody can be the smallest. You know, that's how life is. Mm -hmm. We have the luck with graffiti. Also, it is not bringing a lot of richdom, but uh, it's like we have, I think, a free life, and. Mm -hmm. The, the 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 free mind that we have, we never be hostage in the in the society how a lot of people are, because we can express ourselves with painting and everything, and uh, I think we are blessed with that. Hundred yeah? percent. Because, because 100%. a lot of people, ordinary people, you know, they have a shit life. They go work till five o'clock, come home, new, read the newspaper, go to bed, and work again. They are the slaves, but yeah. For us, it's like we are free, and they can lock up us, you know. But even then, we are free because if we have a pen and paper, we draw, and we draw for to freedom. Mm. So, but but with them, um, with with the freedom, this is where I'm coming from. Do you? So I'm just thinking as I'm going, but I've, I, I, I've, I'm onto something. You've put in all this work, or the likes of yourselves have put in this level of work. Um, with risk, danger, uh, lifestyle hacks that, you know, become normal to you for this sort of freedom. But when, at what point um, does that, um, the hard work and the narrow escapes, the danger, the um, decadence of it all, when does it pay off? Like, how do people attain a lifestyle like yours, but whilst keeping true to the essence of graffiti. That's a good, that's a good question. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you don't know. I never think so deep like that. You know, your life works how it works. Works, and yeah, we do this, and uh, I don't know. I really don't have a really clear answer for that. I guess it's because you've lived. You're living it. You you don't. Yeah. 
think it'd be different. I used, I used to it, you know, and it's like for other people who go to work every morning, it's for me like this is like work, you know, because, yeah. because it's, and it is my life and I do nothing else on this. And so for me, it's like, yeah, I don't know. I don't, I've no really clear answer for that or <laughs> if you want it, you know, because maybe I'm too into it to, to see it from outside. Does it make you anxious though? Does the, does, does the lifestyle sometimes make you anxious or, you know, not not graffiti itself, but just lifestyle things where you're just like, yo, like, you know, that nine to five job would do me good right now. <laughs> no, for me not. I never. I never was in, I never have can do that. I have problems with authority, authority problem. When people say do this or do that, it's for me too hard to do it, you know. It's also when people ask me to do a painting uh, on canvas, I always change it what they want because it's like I cannot have I cannot have orders. Yeah, I bet. So that's I can give orders good, you know. That's 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 a different thing, you know, because I know to how to 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 rule uh, a group or to have an uh, doing a an, uh, I must say. To have a to have a company or something, right? mm-hmm. you no, know, that's that's I'm good, but for self I'm stuck. I'm the problem for I'm the biggest problem of myself, you know. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that's uh, also shit. I think. <laughs> yeah, but you've also got to do, be that way to be the king of what you do. Like, yeah, you know, you know the the. The king is like I'm more prefer more of Mr. Wuka than King because King is like they have a crown and uh, you get uh, a conspiracy against me to throw off me off the throne, you know? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. There's always some contender, and there is no contenders in this always game. Always show your position on the pressure, and uh, with uh, Mr. Wuka, I have no pressure. So I do what I do, and I hope one day that uh, people beat me what I do. It will be very hard. You know, do 123 hookahs in a year, I think it's almost impossible. Impossible. I think, yes, pretty hard. So I hope that people now get from that they want to do it. They said, I'm going to beat that guy. You know? Hell no. Good luck with that. (laughs) Impossible. I I love they do it because for more hookahs, for better, you know? Oh, yo, have you ever ever been caught for, for, for graffiti? Man, I was maybe 10, 11 months in jail for only graffiti. So uh, I know how it is inside, uh-huh. but all people that had done more time than me. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I did, uh, but most time was uh, that I get uh, busted in the early days yeah. because uh, then we have not the knowledge of checkers and everything. You know, it's like this: when I meet Amzo, when I meet Hanna, that are uh, for me the younger, the younger uh, school, they learn me how to work with with the phones, with the, the, the checkers and everything. And then I feel really stupid because I think back in the days, we were more scared. And, you know, I think, man, now you will see the security. And before, when I was younger, we go home. And mm-hmm. now we wait till they go and we walk behind them, you know. That I learned from the younger, younger generation, from from Carlos, from Amza. They show me how stupid we were back in the days. <laughs> and uh, yeah, for real, I see, I see it like that. If if I knew this, everything what I knew now, and I knew it uh, four years back, mm-hmm. I can I can say you that I had done, done maybe ten times more than I did now. For sure, I don't doubt yeah. that for a second. Yes, so the sad, you know, I'm finding against my age because I really have problems with getting older. You know, because it is like I don't accept that I get older. My mm-hmm. mind is like twenty eight. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. You know, but sometimes I, I, you I, I, I the, totally, utterly feel you, brother. I totally some, feel you. Some, sometimes you you walk to the wall, but still, when I do a ruka and we have time left, I do another one. And some people they ask me, "You do another one?" I say, "Yeah," you know. <laughs> but the, but the next days I feel it in my bones, of course. You really? Know? Oh, yeah. But in the evening, I do it again, another one. I mean, you're a soldier. You're this is military operations, isn't it? It looks like, come close by, yes, because you must know what you do. You must, uh, uh, I sometimes I check the yards. <clears throat> Back in the days, I did it uh, by myself. Mm. Now we hang some cameras, you know, and we wreck it. Then we see the, the rounds, they walk. And if they walk, yeah, sometimes they don't walk. And uh, if they get checked by security or by workers. So then 
I take the times and I go between that time and that time. So it's like like military, you know. Sometimes we have uh, night vision to look where people come. So because they look at you <coughs> like that way, so you must look it back. Mm-hmm. And that is the strongest thing that you have, you know, doing your homework, not just running to the yard and paint the train and to hope that you have luck. Mm-hmm. So you must do, you must know what you do. And when you prepare before, you have your percentage for success is much, much more. And that's where we go for success. Mm -hmm. I told you before, I don't want to let a train there without finish. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just, just, it's just so much admiration. Don't try this at home, by the way, people. Uh, Have you had any close calls? No, at home, at home, at home, you have no trains. You mm-hmm. must go to the yard, people. <laughs> <laughs> His words, not mine. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot say it, but I can say it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> have you had, have you had any um, close calls where you, you know you really did fear for a moment, like wow, this 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 could be my time. Get busted. No life. No. Oh. Because you've because you've rehearsed everything, you've got the strategy down. Yeah. Yes. And uh, you don't know, forget busted, of course. Sometimes, you know, when you don't get busted, there's always fun after. When you get busted, the shit after, you know. Right? There's always laughing. Hey, you don't get busted, you know. We get away with it, you know. It's, and we have some, some really like, I come with a book, and the book will be have insane stories. So many stories that you, the book will be, I think, more important than the pictures. You you're gonna release a book? Yes. Oh it, my it is it is already almost two years delayed, you know. That's that I'm gonna say because I said for two years already the book is coming, but it is in far progress. And uh, next year it will be sure for there. And it will be a book that never was before. Wow, this is gonna be crazy. I try to be the most cost do inside the book, you know. Mm. Is uh, my plan is to make it three books in one box because if you make one big book, it is not working. I see it uh, by Tales of Belgium, it's like too big, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Three, 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 uh, <clears throat> three parts in one book in a cocoa. And uh, it must be a real special book because I like everything was big. So it will be a big book with big bookers. Only Wukas, not my parents come inside, and the stories. But the stories is the most important. It will be really exciting. I have so <laughs> many crazy stories, you know, you cannot imagine. Yeah, yeah. And I knew this was only going to be a, a snapshot of a podcast compared to the life you've had. Three books sounds about right. And we're expecting that next year? Yes. it's. Uh, I think it will be after the summer because I want to start it to make it clear, you know, between January and March. The problem is every time that I got delayed, delayed, delayed is because I still didn't do so much. But the, when the number 500 is there, it must be clear, it must be done. And there are a lot of things already in, uh, in for progress, you know, like the stories from all my friends, you know, they make the story, mm. what they have, how, how they see me, how they have the, the experience with me, what happens in all the times, you know. <laughs> So it's man, it's like a lot of lot of reading, but that makes the book, I think. And Agreed. then yeah, yeah, it's like and I also do all who was with who was with me. I put also in the book. Normal everybody is like total egoist, you know, or have too much ego. They put only the own cars inside it. Mm-hmm. I put also the other cars into it. Mine is biggest, of course, but there's, if there's a wool train, the wool train come inside with all those pictures from everybody. So I, it's, if people, you know, some people don't put it in because they think, oh, maybe he's better than me. Or not for me, I know people are better than me, so I don't. I have no shame about it. So when it's better than me, it's better than me. If I'm better than the other, I'm better than the other. So it will be a complete book, and not yeah. a health book. Man, that's crazy! Wow, I can't wait for that. That's going to be insane. And 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 yeah, very. Um, what's the word? Um, I'm not even humble. It's just the fact that you're bringing in all the other, you know, pioneers, inspirations, people that were with you at the time and friends. It just speaks volumes. Um, before we go, please tell me one, just one, 
of those craziest stories? I, I, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I must, I must choose, and I'm gonna tell you the most beautiful story. I think it's there. Mm. It's like one of the most beautiful. I was we were we want to paint in uh, in the city in Belgium, and we was with Atom, uh, Tane, and some other guys. We were watching for the train but I saw the lights were burning so I go check and my feeling was not good because I smelled paint and the train lights were on and then most times it's like somebody is get chased because they put the lights on the people stay away from the train you know mm -hmm. so we went away and I said to Atom we don't go I said for me it don't feel good when we talking we see passing a police van but we were with two cars so I said to him you go that direction, I go that direction, and one of one of us gets stopped. And I think me because I go direction of the car. Mm -hmm. So indeed we get stopped, <clears throat> and I don't speak French. So we stop next to the yard. The police stop us. It was railroad police, and uh, so normally I have always automatic cars. Mm -hmm. Then I must step out. So then now one that was next to me said to me, yeah, "Hello, hello, hello." And bam, the white car goes to the police car <sighs> because I was forget to have to break on the, the handbrake, mm -hmm. you know. So first, the bump, my car bumped the car of the police car. The, the police guy get complete crazy and yell to me. I yell back because I don't do that on purpose, you know. Yeah. And uh, I step in and put the van and back. And he said, yeah, we stop you because uh, we have a phone call uh, for painting on the trains. I said, it's not me. We don't do it. And yeah. then the woman uh, cop, uh, the girl cop, she uh, find all the cans and the, the, the stairs in the back. Mm -hmm. oh, what's that? Blah, blah, blah. And I said, man, that is not used. Uh, we didn't paint. Yeah. And he said, I want to take it. I said, no, you're not going to take it. And he said, yeah, I'm going to take it. I said, no, you're going to take it because it's mine. Yeah. Then he said to me, man, we get a phone call for painting on the train. And... We find you here with paint. For me, you paint the train. Normal. Then he said, but I don't give a fuck, don't give a fuck about the city. Please don't paint the train here anymore. And I looked to the guy, I looked to Tana, I said, is he serious, you know? And I said, uh, okay, you want cans? You have it. Wow. And then he said, then I said, okay, what 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 do we do with the accident? Uh, I must pay of insurance, man. Go because I've I've been worse. And um, okay, I don't can believe we step in the van and we came all the way. If this happened in another country, you're all weekend in jail, you know. And they, wow! They, they let us go. It is that's totally crazy story. That's I think an insane story. Best story. Yes. Yes. It's, no, that's the best story that is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just it's it's a. Uh, a hat tip of a sign of success. You're in the yeah. right direction. You're doing the right things. You're getting granted, you know, the opportunity to to leave. <laughs> yes, yes, but still, we get the. They give all the guilt of the the painting was there on the train, and we didn't. So with the paint, normally you will can be guilty anyway if you mm. don't don't done, you know. But my feeling in the first way was good. And then we have this, you know, the car to the, to the van, the guy from the cans. And then he said, it's a railroad cop. He said, I don't give a fuck about graffiti. How they can say it, you know? <laughs> Just don't be doing that there and get out of here. <laughs> yeah, no, please. he said, please don't paint anymore on the trains. I said, okay. <laughs> That's mad. It's it's funny how other countries. I mean, you must go through this a lot because you you travel so much. Yes. The, the, the tolerance level of graffiti in different countries must vary so much. Yeah, you must you must be for sure. You don't see the cops because when they stop you, you fucked. And uh, so that's only one of the few times they they, they stopped us, and we had uh, we had luck. With bad, bad luck, with good luck, you know, it's mm. like, and the story is funny. It's a story I'm never to forget. Yeah, that's amazing. That's <laughs> amazing. Um, Say, so yeah, my brother, I know this won't be the last time we speak to each other, and hopefully we'll see yeah. each other more sooner. 
thank you so much for joining me on the podcast today, brother. Yes. Thank you, too. I want to do some big shout-outs to do some it. London graffiti writers for, for, from Brighton, like Arrow, Teach, Zombie. They're really my friends. They're really good, cool. Your friends, too. Yes, yes. And, uh, much respect to it. And my, my uh, colleague, I like uh, August, Piquet, Moza, Atom. You know, they are really my friends. Tane. I'm never going to forget them in what I do because with them, we are strong. And never forget who is very important in my life is like Amza because he made me sick again. <laughs> <laughs> made you ill again. The horns yeah. came out of the head. He's yeah. back in business. <laughs> 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 Say you're a legend. Well, you're, you're Mr. Holker. Thank you so much, my brother. Thank you. Killer Keller yeah. podcast, out like in was out of fashion. You know what it do. Street culture, more graffiti style, all right? Big shout out to everybody sharing his caring. Don't forget, tell a friend to tell a friend. Say a peace. Peace. <laughs>